is a leading provider of innovative audio, video, and computer signal processing solutions for commercial applications. I'm Kim Robbins, Senior Marketing Manager at BTX, and I'll be your host throughout this session. Aaron Mathis will be leading us through this Geffen webinar. Aaron is the Director of Training for Geffen, and uh, as we like to say, he is the training superstar. So he's a great candidate to show us what's new and to answer any questions that you may have about Geffen new products, old products, projects you may have in the work. It's a great resource. And uh, we'd like to make this as interactive as possible, so please use your question area on your toolbar. And we'll answer questions as you can throughout the next 45 minutes or so. BTX has been in the AV business for nearly 50 years as a value-added distributor and manufacturer of integration products, signal processing products like Geffen, and we continue to expand our service offerings to include other technologies such as collaboration, IPTV, lecture capture, digital signage, and video over IP, again, a solution that we'll hear about today from Aaron. BTX supplies many thousands of the finest interface, integration, and systems products, as well as engineer our own unique and patented solutions. We have deep technical expertise on all of the solutions that we provide, and our applications engineers, inside and outside sales team, are readily available to help you specify, purchase, and then support your project requirements. Our full product line card offers thousands of products to make implementation of your projects run smoothly. Among the many key integration building blocks that we provide are custom cable assemblies, custom plates and panels, video extenders, signal distribution, and cable management. So you should know when you work with BTX, you work with a team of people whose mission it is to bring you new ideas to excite your customers, enhance the elegance of your designs, and drive revenues and profits to your bottom line. Now I'm going to hand this over to Aaron so that he can take us through his part of the presentation. Thank you, Aaron, for being with me today. All right. Welcome to the Geffen training. Uh, do you have a picture? I do. I can see your screen. Thanks. Excellent. My name is Aaron Mathis once again. I'm with Geffen. I've been with Geffen for going on nine years now. And uh, today we're going to talk about quite a few things. We're going to talk about the new solutions as well as our Synergy platform. <laughs> Geffen was founded 1998. We're headquartered in Chatsworth, California, and our parent company is Nortec. So for over 20 years, Geffen's delivered innovative, progressive computer and electronics add-on solutions. Uh, our products are known as plug-and-play at this point. Uh, no more will you have to adjust dip switches, trim EQ, that's with the older product. The new Geffen going forth is mainly based on the HD Base T platform, which allows for seamless integration for all of your installations. We are known in the pro AV realm. Almost everyone has heard of us. And we're consistently first to market and geared towards the install market. We have full quality control, so we don't do golden sample testing. We do full testing. We're on board with the latest technologies. We're going to be one of the first companies to have HD based T2.0, as well as we were the first company in North America to have HD based T1.0. We're fully compliant with HDMI and HDCP, so we play the loyalty fees and also have a license. And then we provide lifetime technical support as well as a two-year limited warranty with advanced replacements through the life of the warranty. So when looking at categories, we're looking at extension, taking a signal from one location to another with either wired or wireless solutions, integration switching, taking multiple sources to a single or maybe one or two displays, matrix switching, multiple sources and multiple displays like a bar scenario, distribution or splitting, when you're talking about digital signage, you're definitely looking into distributing that signal or splitting it to multiple displays, 
Conversion and scaling, taking one type of signal to another. For instance, taking your VGA plus your audio to HDMI. And then premium cables. We only use the best when it comes to materials and accessories and adapters and wall plates, things like that. Uh, we really don't have to go through this much. This is uh, common connector types. Everybody kind of knows this. So Geffen Technologies, HD Base T. Right now, <clears throat> the Geffen products are on HD Base T 1.0. The good news is, with all of our 4K line, we actually support 4K 60 at 420 color space. I repeat, we support 4K 60 at 420 color space. Okay. HD Base T, there's two versions of it. There's the full. It goes a full 100 meters or 330 feet. We can actually allow for 1080p at 8-bit color, 495 feet with our valence. HD Base T light is 200 feet over single cat 5e. So for existing installations, if you don't have to go any further, we can take you that far. And then 230 feet over cat 6. POL is power over line. FST, fast switching technology. We switch faster than the industry. And seamless switching. We have seamless switching solutions now that uh, less than a frame delay switching, so a very fast switching. We also offer advanced EDID management, so you can solve those display EDID issues with our Synergy platform and also built into our units. And then we can control our devices with multiple control options. Okay, so just a quick overview. Everyone knows what Ultra HD is, but they don't understand, especially our customers, that right now you're just now seeing a trickle in of the HDMI 2.0 spec, which brings the 4K 60. Most displays that are currently 4K, only 1.4A, which is 4K 30. So 4K is obviously Ultra HD. Market segments we play in, medical conference room, digital signage, pro AV, education, broadcast, home theater. Government, security, and retail. I don't like to pigeonhole our products in the market segments, but these are just some examples of some of the market segments that we are, are uh, installed in. So EDID or Extended Display Identification Data, real quick setup. You get your power, hot plug sent, then the EDID is sent from the display in red, HCCP handshaking happens, and then you get your audio video. It happens that quick. H DCP. This is the copyright protection of our industry. Uh, right now we're moving to 2.0. It's going to bring uh, some more uh, features into the HDCP and hopefully loosening it up a little bit. But uh, HDCP is pretty important to our industry and problematic. So HDCP, how it works. Initialize session, exchange the public keys, verify the connection to the revoking list, send the encrypted stream, and then it has to re-verify. Uh, if you've been in the industry for any amount of time, you know that HDCP started off as a nightmare, and it's slowly gotten consistently better. So let's talk about our Synergy platform. So it's our integrated software toolkit. Synergy is a free, once again, let me repeat myself, a free download on Geffen.com. You're going to be able to use this software to interface with Geffen products to create several different solutions for yourself. So it's an integrated software toolkit. There's four pillars of operation that we utilize with Synergy. The discover, the configure, manage, monitor, and then update your product firmware. So you'll be able to do this all from a single software tool or web interface. So the discover tab. Any device that is on the IP network, it will be able to discover it as long as it's supported by Synergy. So regardless of the IP address, you're going to be able to discover it. Well, what this is going to do for you, it's going to allow you to configure your IP settings to be able to suit your network requirements, and you can manage your duplicate IP addresses, change them. It's got a physical feature called Show Me that will actually allow you to physically identify the IP device on the network. What happens is you click the Show Me tab, and the light on the unit itself flashes red and blue. So how is that useful in a networking environment? Well, 
if you're doing a large matrix with our HD over IP solution and you have several senders and receiver units and you want to label them, you need to be able to physically identify those sender and receiver units and the show me feature will allow you to do that. It's also going to allow you to reboot the selected device and go, if the device has a web GUI, you can actually go to the web GUI as well as a web page. So you can go to the device's web page as well. Configure is going to allow you to configure compatible Geffen devices via USB interface or web interface. Show the video status, EQ settings, disable output for testing. You're going to be able to adjust color ranges. You're going to be able to do test patterns. You're going to be able to do, do timings. You're going to be able to do audio. You'll be able to do color balance. You'll be able to actually take the RGB and calibrate with it. Because of the test patterns, you can actually use that for calibration purposes. So Synergy is an incredibly powerful platform. It's going to allow you to do all of these things. With EDID management, you'll be able to manage EDID on the Geffen products to match the display or copy EDID from a display or source. Okay, So when, when you capture the EDID, you're going to be able to actually create your own custom EDIDs out of the EDID structure and show the source device whatever EDID it is you want. For instance, if you're doing a large deployment, and you want to build a, build a dumbed-down EDID that's going to allow the TVs uh, to all one at one resolution to the source. You can dumb down that EDID to just a 1080p two-channel EDID, and the source is going to read that EDID at all times. Instead of having a gambit of different resolutions, different audio formats, and that causing a problem with your installation. So this is what Synergy is going to allow you to do. Such a small platform, such big possibilities. Okay, so this is the EDID wizard. You can ver view current EDID from Gavin, uh, detectives, booster devices, things like that. Download EDID from downstream, from the display device, from the detective memory banks, or download an EDID file. See device firmware, preview the actual EDID data all in one package. And then you can actually, if you want to, go into the EDID summary itself and take away certain uh, aspects of that EDID summary and create your own customized EDID. That is, if you're a very advanced user. So EDID type, summary, create the new EDID, and then you're good to go. You're going to also be able to use display support. So aspect ratio, size, everything. So once again, you can create it based on all the TVs are 50 inch and they all run 280p2 channel. Name the display, set standby modes, image size, things like that. Edit timings as well. You'll be able to select customized timings and save them. Manage color space. So if it's not selectable, it'll be grayed out. If you have selected it, it will be red. I agree, red. And then if it is selectable, it'll be orange. Okay, so these we can't select, but we can select this, but this one's already pre-selected. So you can select your desired color depth, encoding, and chromality. Okay. Audio formats, you'll be able to select what speakers you have, different audio formats here, and then you can move them up or move them down so that they will be uh, in priority. Okay, also CEC, not that everybody's using it, but we do have support for CEC. And then monitoring, you'll be able to actually go in and view the connected status, change the device, and then you can do it live, the upload. And then show me feature, once again, is going to find it on the network. 
and update firmware. So you can update the firmware via the RS-232 USB or web interface and we actually guide you through it. You can either download the firmware or you can automatically update the firmware uh, from the internet. So it's going to actually automatically do it for you if you have it, your device on the network, your laptop or whatever is running Synergy or it'll automatically do it and go to the Geffen uh, website and get the firmware. All right, so different devices. This is one of our first devices that works with Synergy. This is our Ultra HD booster for HDMI with the needed detective. We can actually support 1080p up to 150 feet or 4K at 115 feet. And you can once again interface this with Synergy. This is our new Ultra HD Extender for HDMI with POL. This unit supports bi-directional power, meaning I can power the receiver unit at the display side and it will power this sender unit or vice versa. It also has RS-232, bi-directional IR, and an Ethernet channel. And it all goes over the single Cat5. This unit, we've also got a firmware update that we got HDMI at 8-bit color up to 495 feet. So we are going further than the competition. At 4K, we can take you up to 330 feet. This unit does the same exact thing, costs a little bit less because we took away the Ethernet channel and the bidirectional power, but you're getting native RS-232 bi-directional IR and POL which the sender unit powers the receiver unit so you do not have to power the receiver unit in a setup once again it can take 1080p at 495 feet away at 8-bit color and then 4k at 330 feet We also offer DVI over single cat 5E, 450 feet of full 19, 20, 1200 resolution. And then the DVI ELR Lite, which will do 200 feet over cat 5E and 230 over cat 6A cable. Fiber. Some of the reasons people are really jumping on board the fiber is that you can go a much longer distance. We can actually take full 1080p well over a mile at 6,600 feet. Um, Ultra HD, we're doing 3,300 feet, and uh, it's a very good solution for government, education, as well as large retail environments where you need to go through lots of conduit. Uh, application example is uh, Texas Stadium. They're actually using uh, DVI fiber optic extenders from Geffen for their large, large display above the football field. The daisy chain system has been shipping for a while, but people kind of don't know about it. So what it does is it just takes CAT5 between a sender, a splitter, and a receiver, and you can just keep daisy chaining displays. So you have the sender going to one splitter, going into two splitters, three splitters, all the way seven deep, and then up to 30 receivers. So here's kind of a exploded chart, right? So sender, splitter, to two more splitters, local displays off of each splitter, to two more local displays off of those splitters, up to a hundred displays. So Kim was talking about digital signage deployments. Well with the daisy chain system, I actually helped a customer uh, retrofit a church. Uh, they were using splitters and extenders and they were having issues with dropouts, things like that. We actually put in the daisy chain system and they had no issues at all. So two advantages of using the daisy chain system. It makes its own HD over IP kind of uh, network. Okay, So there is no chance for EMI because everything's packetized. So it's a point-to-point -point connection, but you're not using a technology such as HD base T or anything like that. You're using IP. You also at each local display get RS-232 as well as IR for control. 
Speaking of HD over IP, these are our new units, and this is one of the uh, key new releases that we have. Uh, similar to some of the Just Add Power devices, but the price points that Geffen offers, it's much lower and the functionality is much higher. So this is our HD over IP with RS-232 and two-way IR. Okay, You can create a virtual matrix using multiple senders and receivers. So we support 65,000 senders and 65,000 receivers. That number sounds astronomical, but when you're thinking of a large building or something like that and you're doing a full IP matrix in that large deployment, you're going to want something like this. So problem solution scenario, and this is what we run into with users for this all the time. You've got a job that's going to grow. You've got multiple sender units and multiple receiver units. Well. The way to approach that in the past has been a large matrix, like a 32 by 32. While we do still have the large matrices, this solution will allow you to let the scenario grow and you're not stuck with inputs and outputs. For instance, what if I only need a 7 by 32 matrix? Well, utilizing HD over IP and creating a virtual matrix, I can do that off number matrix or, or an 8 by uh, six matrix. So you don't have to have a limitation with inputs and outputs. We also offer it in KVM functionality. So with KVM we're giving you the USB as well as audio. Okay. We have DVI and VGA versions as well. So with these units, the DVI and HD versions, which are HDMI, there's no problem going back and forth. You can go from DVI to HDMI with full HDCP compliancy. So you can do a HDCP enabled computer going to an HDMI display. There's no problem with that. Now when you bring VGA into the mix though, you can go VGA to HDMI, no problem, on the sender side, right, VGA and then HDMI on the receiver side. But if you try to go HDMI to VGA and there is HDCP, that is not supported because VGA doesn't have support for HDCP. So that's the only caveat you have to remember. Going from VGA to HDMI, no problem. HDMI to VGA with HDCP, there is a problem. If there's no HDCP on the signal, you can do it. But if there is, you cannot. So here's where we really put a lot of work in to make the virtual matrix work flawlessly. We call it the CU LAN. It's the matrix controller. So this unit sits in your rack and controls that virtual matrix. How does it do it? Well, it has integrated synergy discovery protocol, so you can identify everything on your network. And it has its own web GUI with grid view, and you have an overview of your large matrix system. It's got an IR remote control, but it also has a web server interface. So in the installation, you literally can walk around with, let's say, a Android tablet or an iPad and be able to control the matrix, actually use the show me feature to be able to find and physically identify the sender and receiver units. Uh, we're one of the only manufacturers out there with something like this. And it, it's really, really uh, very, very useful for deploying large matrix scenarios. Hey, Aaron. Okay. Can we um, go back um, a slide, two slides now? And somebody came in, came with the question, can you use third-party control software to make it a switch, like AMX or Crestron? Uh, yes, you could. You could, correct. For, let's say, uh, before what we were doing with our matrix, if you look there, we were just using our keyboard controller to make it switch. And that's just the software. So you could uh, actually go in and use a different software. Now, here's what you need to make the matrix work, though. You need a managed gigabit 
network switch. We recommend the Cisco switches. So the AMX or Crestron software would actually route the IPs, and that's how it would make the matrix switch. So that is correct. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you. So kind of here's like a, a setup scenario, multiple sources, multiple displays all over the network. All right, so methods of extension, we have wireless, we have Cat5, we have fiber. Okay, we've got all those solutions. And uh, that's it. So different market verticals, education, government, digital signage, retail, hospitality, medical, home theater. And guys, don't forget, we still have VGA extenders. We still have... Uh, USB over Cat5. I just can't go into the whole Geffen product line because we have so many products. So we've got all of those solutions for you. We still have KVM extenders, everything you're going to need for your scenarios. All right, IP to dual RS-232. So you could take your older RS-232 devices that, uh, for instance, uh, Geffen Switcher, if it has RS-232, you can actually bring it on the network by converting it to IP and be able to switch using your tablet or whatever software you have that supports IP switching. This is our 4x1 DVI KVM multi-view switcher um, at the show uh, at ISC. It was actually a pretty big hit. It's a four-port quad DVI KVM switcher. It's, it's seamless, so there's no delay or anything like that, okay? So it's got a few modes. It's got a three-in-one, picture-in-picture, four-in-one quad view. It's got the single large display with three smaller displays on the size, but you can actually cascade it up to eight switchers. So that's 32 different computers and do some really cool picture-in-picture -picture stuff with it. Okay, so different market segments that this would really fit in would be like traffic or a government scenario where you have multiple workstations and you cascade it into a single larger display up on the stage and, and you're able to pull up different people's displays. Very, very useful for something like that. So full KVM seamless switching for DVI. Our 2x2 two two video wall controller. Great for digital signage deployments. Instead of utilizing very expensive digital uh, digital signage professional displays with the hardware and software built in, you can actually use our 2x2 video wall controller to create a video wall with four off-the-shelf displays. So you can get four 80-inch sharps or something like that and create a huge video wall. And uh, the unit itself has full HTCP compliancy, scales each input and routes them to the output with no frame loss at all. Obviously full 1080p, 10 user configurable presets, on-screen uh, GUI via the web GUI, web interface, and uh, it's also got bezel compensation. So you can comp compensate for whatever bezel you have. The 4x4 matrix is a seamless 4x4 matrix for those jobs where you cannot have any handshaking at all and it's less than one frame delay when you switch so it literally is the switch and that's all you see okay the 4x uh, excuse me the 4x1 multi-view seamless switcher for HDMI is going to allow you to take any four HDMI sources and go on to a single display. So the 4x1 will allow you to take, let's say, a computer with all your fantasy football scores and stats, a Blu-ray with a movie playing, maybe Rudy, a cable box with your game live, and maybe a hopper with another game on it. So you can take all of those devices and literally put them up on one large display. It's got full scaling, so you can have uh, different scaled images on that single display. And it's got window routing, it's got uh, audio routing, whatever you're going to need to make that happen. So you could drag and drop with the web GUI different scaled images and just drag it all over the screen however you want it 
and set it as a preset. So you'll be able to actually set presets for whatever you want. And then it's also going to allow you to do front panel presets. And then here's your default presets that you'll be able to set. So full routing, audio routing, masking, mute, everything. Now here on the unit is just kind of a layout how it looks. You can do different things like this with the different sources. You've got IR control, RS-232, uh, Telnet and UDP, and it does have a web server interface. So in this case, we have four of our just media players going to the unit and playing video. Full 1080p, each one of these screens, nice high def picture. And you could create some really cool application examples. So this is a digital signage video wall. So you've got a video player here, Blu-ray here, going into a 4 by one Geffen toolbox switch, and going into our video wall. So creating a switchable video wall. We also have picture-in-picture -picture digital signage. So high def here with the digital signage application. And then this, me being a football guy, You've got your quad view football heaven. That's what I call it. So four sources, single display, all your games. You got your fantasy stuff going on here. And imagine if you have something like Sunday Ticket. Now you can create all of your fantasy players just in one screen with all the games in really small squares and then still have multiple sources. So it definitely is the football player's heaven. Uh, you can utilize it with a projector or something like that to really blow that screen up or a 100-inch display. They're coming down in price. Here's a unit for security purposes. So you've got uh, DVR here. You've got a guy. He's looking to steal all these TVs. He's looking at the camera very suspiciously there. What's this guy doing at the door? And, of course, everyone has to have the camera in the bedroom because, you know, you want to make sure your bedroom's secure. All right, continuing on. 3G SDI to HDMI conversion. We can take 3G SDI, go HDMI with just straight conversion, very small format unit with flexible power options. So you can actually have a 12-volt DC camera battery and actually have this connected to it. We have HDMI to 3G SDI conversion. Supporting full 1080p, it's going to support all your color spaces. 10-bit color depth, and then easy firmware upgrades with the Synergy software and Synergy interface. HDMI and VGA to 3G SCI, scalar and converting. It's going to have full Synergy interface with full compliancy testing, things like that, EDID management. And I love this unit. This is our new multi-format processor. Okay, so it's going to be HDMI. DVI, DisplayPort VGA, you got your composite video, okay, you got everything you can think of. We're going to upscale it, we're going to change the formats, we're going to be able to do some cool stuff with the audio. You can route the audio different from the video. It's one of the first processors that allow you to do that. It will also allow you to uh, come out HDMI or DVI. So plug and play, and then you have your input control here with actual manual control options and IP control with web server interface, IR, RS-232, all of those types of controls. Here. Yes. Do, uh, do you know the latency on the HDMI to HDSDI converter? Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't hear you. Do, uh, do you know the latency on the HDMI to HDSDI converter? Uh, no, I don't. We can, we can find that out for you. Uh, if, if your customer wants to ask that question, we can uh, ask our product developer, and uh, we can find that for you. Excellent. All right. No worries. VGA audio to HDMI scaling. It's not a, we've got a brand new scaler. The reason we did this is we wanted to bring in Synergy integration. So now our old scaler you had to actually manually adjust. You'll be able to manually 
adjust the scaler, but you'll also be able to go in and fully control it with Synergy. We had it at the show, and it was really, really cool. You could actually go in and override the TV's color options and change the contrast, change everything, do test patterns and things like that through the scaler itself. So very cool. It's got test pattern uh, integration, edit management, aspect ratio control, everything you're going to need to be able to actually test or troubleshoot a display and scale and take older VGA up to HDMI. So you can really make that picture look really nice. Our DVI and VGA, or excuse me, VGA to DVI scalar converter. Same thing, it's just going to take your VGA uh, to DVI, scale it and convert it to the DVI, and once again, full synergy integration. So talking about our Geffen toolbox line, once again, our Geffen Toolbox line right now is HDMI 1.4A 4K compliant. So you've got the 4K support, but the chips are only 300 megahertz chips. They will be able to support 4K 60 at 420 color space. On the roadmap, we're going to be one of the first companies that get, uh, as far as uh, one of the first accessory companies, right, because the displays already have the, the, the 4K uh, 60 chips. We will have it as well, and we'll be able to support full 4K 60 at 444 color space. So our full toolbox line, all the splitters, the smaller matrices, uh, this is our new 8x8 matrix that's going to support 4K. Those are all supporting uh, 4K 60 at 420. All right. Perfect amount of time for questions. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, Aaron. Um, I'll give it a second to, um, to see if anybody has any questions that they'd like to ask at this point. What I want to do, I'm just going to take control back. Um, okay. Myself. Why do I? Why am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, here we go. And if anybody has. Um, Screen. Go back to this. Yeah, so, if anybody has any um, any questions or um, would like to learn more, there's some contact information for BCX. Um, people are asking about getting the, um, the presentation. Um, I will certainly get the presentation from Aaron. I'm also recording the session, so you can go back and re review if you'd like as well. Um, will we be supporting a uh, full five play, the number five play? Uh, we should be, you're talking about with HDMI uh, 2.0, correct? Uh, he, they didn't elaborate, but uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have full support uh, for, for 2.0. Okay, great. Do seamless switchers have fade to black feature? Fade to black, I, I'm not sure we have fade to black. I know we have uh, video masking. So it will, uh, it will support the video masking where you can, uh, through the web GUI, uh, mask the video. And that just depends on which seamless switcher you're talking about. If you're talking about our 4x4, um, I don't believe it has the video map. Yeah, yeah, no, it actually does have masking, but I'm not, I don't think it fades to black. I think it just goes to black. Okay, okay. When using RS-232 with the HD base T splitters, do all of the 232 ports receive, or is it uh, routable? When you with the HD base T splitters. Wait, does he mean extenders? Uh, and if you could uh, elaborate a little bit, so the question again, when using RS-232 with HD base T splitters, do all the RS-232 ports receive? Well, with, with our RS-232 on our HD base T extenders, you're getting full RS-232 support. So you used to be just send, receive, and ground, uh, but you're getting the full support now, I believe, on our HD base T uh, extenders. 
um, if that's what you mean. But on our on our splitters, we don't uh, uh, we don't have extenders built into our splitters. So it's just, uh, for instance, a Geffen uh, one by two splitter. Uh, we have RS two thirty two control. So and those those uh, controls are online for you if you need to you know create a let's say a URC remote control uh, thing. So all the binary and hex codes and things are online if that's what you're talking about. But we don't have uh, uh, splitters with extenders built in anymore. Okay, thanks. Um, is there an IPKVM sender with a loop local display output available, or is it yes. coming? Yes. It, the, uh, we have the DVI version with a, a, a local, local out. So the That's DVI version and it's HTTP compliant. So if you wanted to use it with HDMI, you could just use a DVI to HDMI cable or converter. And it has the local display out, and yeah, it's good to go. All right, excellent. Does the HDMI to SDI converter support the same refresh rate as the HDMI HDMI VGA to SDI adapter? There's a number. There's twenty nine point nine seven. So he's he's saying the HDMI to SDI converter. Yes. Does it support the same refresh rate as the yeah, HDMI? It's going to support all your refresh rates. Yes. Okay. But just remember, the converter is not it's not doing any scaling. It's not you know it's just a basic converter, and it's going to support every single thing that's on that signal. Excellent. All right. So I think that was the uh, the last question that has come in. That's some awesome uh, questions. Wow. I don't think we've ever had this many questions. That's cool. Oh, wait. That's not true. Here we go. Uh, let's see. RS-232 commands can also be distributed over this daisy-chained network to execute commands. So let's yes. See. Yes, yeah, so yeah, you can you can um, with the daisy chain system, um, you can send simultaneous, uh, let's say, power offs, and it'll turn all the TV off. So yeah, because the guy that was doing the church did that. Okay, great. Um, do your switchers have virtual control software to provide control via computer, tablet, or iPhone? The four by one um, seamless does. Um, the four by four uh, uh, KVM, or excuse me, four by one DVI KVM, the one that Cascade does. Um, the four by four toolbox matrix does not. So not some of them do, some of them don't. Okay. All right. Definitely want to check the specs. Um, you mentioned when talking about the KVM switchers that they would be good for use in government spaces. Does that mean that there are um, there's secure isolation isolated signal versions available, or is that coming? Um, well, we we've, we've never we never had any any uh, anything like that, but we do sell into the government space quite a bit with our existing product. And uh, I mean, we have we have companies that sell government all the time, and some do have very stringent uh, requirements, but most of them just buy the product and use it. Um, and speaking of the, it, it, I actually made a slight error. The units that are um, switchable um, with IP. Uh, they do have control via the IP, and there's a built-in web server interface. Okay, but it's not it's not like uh, let's say the the Synergy platform. So, for instance, uh, it's not like the multi-format processor where you pull up a very detailed switching page. For instance, uh, you have uh, HDMI port one. You can have you have a, a GUI, a very nice GUI. Ours is a very basic for the, let's say, the toolbox A by eight. It's a very basic uh, thing, but you can pull it up via a tailnet. Great. 
Um, is there synergy for Mac? We're working on it. We're working on it. So we're trying to we're trying to do it for Mac. Uh, the cool thing about the synergy, though, if you're doing, uh, let's say, uh, 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 switching the the multi format once again, is um, it's not synergy. It's just a web web address. So you can use it with Mac or PC. When it comes to synergy, at this point, I believe we only have it for PC. We're working on it for Apple. Uh, I think we are working on it for Apple, but right now we only have it for PC. Um, does the virtual matrix switch come with a rack kit? Yes. So the the CU LAN has rack ears. So that's that's what he's talking about, the CU LAN. Okay. The matrix controller. So it has rack ears, it racks it, it just goes right into the rack. Uh, is the scaler of the IP products um, is it on the uh, receiver transmit side, or both? The scaler. What do you mean? Is the scaler of the IP products on the RX or the TX, or is it on both? Uh, there's no scaler built in. Oh, there is no scaler built in. Yeah, there's there's no scaler. Like question is there a scaler <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no on the on the IP let's say you're going I, I think what he's saying is let's say you're going to VGA to HDMI whatever resolution you come in you're, you're gonna get out so if I come in you know let's say 1920 1080 at uh, base extended resolution I'm gonna get that um, out on the HDMI out on it so there's no scaler now if you're talking about the VGA to HDMI scaler and and you're you're saying something with that then yeah that's gonna have full functionality. All right. Okay. Wow, these are some good questions. We've got a very active crowd. We like this. Yes. Um I think that at this point it looks like we do not have any additional questions, but I'd like to thank everybody for being um asking so many questions and uh, and participating because it certainly makes it more interesting for I think everybody to hear these questions uh, again if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to uh, to us at BTX either on our website or a call or inside Aaron thank you so much again for uh, for working with us on this webinar great job and I know I learned a lot I'm sure everybody else did as well and uh, everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day. Yeah, guys, thanks again for uh, sitting through the presentation. Uh, we really appreciate your support, and, and thank you so much for the questions. It, it really helps me know that you guys are listening. Appreciate it. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.